Good evening. This is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated Jernator evening headlines on April 11, 2022. Russia says it destroyed S-300 missile systems given to Ukraine by European state. Reuters, live updates, Slovakia denies air defense is destroyed. The Associated Press, live news updates from April 8, dozens dead in East Ukraine town after missile strike on railway station, global food prices hit record. Financial Times, Slovakia could sell howitzers to Ukraine, defense minister says. Disney Air comes out as transgender and apologizes for not doing more against Don't Say Gay Bill. The Independent, Disney Air comes out as transgender and apologizes for not doing more against Don't Say Gay Bill. Sky News, Disney commits to pushing LGBT, what Muslim parents should know. The Muslim skeptic, Donald Trump Jr., warns Americans to stay away from Disney this summer. Inside the magic, Disney helps employees transition transgender children and themselves. Trump News, live, ex-president faces fierce GOP backlash after endorsing TV's Drive Oz in Senate race. The Independent, Trump backs Mehmet Oz in closely watched Pennsylvania Senate race. Financial Times, Donald Trump endorses celebrity surgeon known for guesting on Oprah in crucial Senate race. Sky News, Trump allies claim he was played after endorsing TV's Drive Oz for Senate seat. Ukraine war, tens of thousands may have been killed in Mariupol, Zelensky says, as he warns of tense week ahead. Sky News, Russia-Ukraine latest news, Ukrainian forces brace for last battle in Mariupol. The Telegraph, Ukrainians last stand for Mariupol is city expected to fall to Russia. ITV News, Helsinki protest features 210 shoes to showcase child death toll in Ukraine's Mariupol. The Washington Post, Zelensky, Mariupol has been destroyed. There are tens of thousands of dead. NATO's Achilles Heel Alliance conducts war games in nervous Lithuania. Navalny Review, staggering portrait of Putin's extraordinary arch enemy. The Guardian, Alexei Navalny, Putin's number one enemy, by the people who know him. The Times, Navalny Review, extraordinary documentary about the attempt to kill Putin's rival. Olena Zelenska reveals how she woke up to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, I didn't realize it was an explosion. The Independent, Ukraine War, Zelensky's wife reveals Putin's fatal mistake as she tells of life during Russian invasion. Sky News, Volodymyr Zelensky's wife says she and children have not seen president since start of the conflict. Spanish police investigate private collection of more than 1,000 stuffed animals. Sky News, extinct species found among 24 million pounds taxidermy collection of 1,000 animals in Spain. ITV News, 24 million pounds zoo of death contained stuffed animals and trophies. The Times, police in Spain seized 29 million euros haul of stuffed endangered animals. The Guardian, pictured, more than 1,000 stuffed animals uncovered in Spain's largest taxidermy collection. Austrian Chancellor to tell Putin he has lost the war morally. The Guardian, Austrian Chancellor warned not to be naive in meeting with Vladimir Putin. The Telegraph, Ukraine News, live, Austrian Chancellor to meet Putin as rockets destroy Dnipro airport. The Independent, Austrian Chancellor to meet Putin in Russia amid warnings of fresh offensive against Ukraine. The Guardian, Vladimir Putin to meet Austrian Chancellor in first face-to-face -face with EU leader since war began. Mexico President López Obrador wins recall referendum. The Guardian, Mexicans ignore presidential recall vote introduced by incumbent. Financial Times, Mexicans vote on whether president stays or goes. The Independent, Mexico President calls vote on his rule a total success is 92% back him amid low turnout. How did Boris Johnson get to Kyiv? PM took secret train trip into Ukraine. The Independent, a wink and a walk, Boris Johnson's warm welcome on secret Kyiv visit. The Guardian, Johnson and Zelensky held talks over roast beef dinner during Kyiv visit. Evening Standard, by helping Ukraine, Boris Johnson has also rescued his own political career and he knows it. I News, Letters, Boris Johnson's Kyiv trip was a cynically calculated maneuver. Sri Lanka nearly out of medicine as doctors warn toll from crisis could surpass COVID. Shanghai to ease lockdown despite surge in COVID cases.
The Guardian, Shanghai Lockdown, What Could China's Zero Covid Policy Mean for the World Economy? BBC News Night. BBC News, Covid, Shanghai reports record cases amid unrest over lockdown rules, but China stands by policy. Sky News, Shanghai discharges over 11,000 Covid patients as lockdown nears third week. The Guardian, Shanghai residents not allowed to leave their homes even to get food. Pakistan, Shabazz Sharif replaces ousted Imran Khan as Prime Minister. Sky News, Pakistan Assembly elects Shibaz Sharif as new Prime Minister. The Guardian, Khan supporters protest in Pakistan as Sharif tipped to take over. The Telegraph, Shibaz Sharif named new Pakistan Prime Minister after Imran Khan's party walks out. The Independent, Pakistan's parliament votes in opposition leader Shibaz Sharif as Prime Minister. Ukraine war latest news, Russia readying tens of thousands for eastern battle, Zelensky. BBC, Zelensky says Europe, not just Ukraine, is Putin's target. Guardian News, Russia lines up its tanks before launching fierce assault in East. The Times, the observer view on the West's response to war in Ukraine. The Guardian, the Irish Times view on a new phase of violence in Ukraine, the same brutality. French election 2022 latest, Macron and Le Pen intensify campaigning. The Independent, Macron and Le Pen to go head-to-head -head in French election runoff. Guardian News, France faces bruising runoff after Macron and Le Pen top first round vote. The Guardian, we need to think about a Le Pen presidency. Financial Times, Macron's political earthquake keeps on rumbling as Le Pen forces runoff. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.